Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to glue on centering rings onto your inner tube. If you remember from my previous videos, the centering rings have to sit in a certain position. So we're going to label the bottom of the inner tube so it can be a point of reference. Now what we're going to do is mark where the bottom centering ring needs to sit on the inner tube and we're also going to mark where the top centering ring needs to sit. So in my open rocket design, I have my bottom centering ring sitting one inch above the bottom of the inner tube. For my top centering ring, I have that sitting four inches above the bottom of the inner tube. I'm now going to tape around the inner tube where I put the line at the one inch mark so that I know where my bottom centering ring needs to sit. I'm going to keep putting tape around it until the inner tube can actually sit on the piece of tape. This might not make sense until we start building further in the video. When you're taping around the inner tube, you want to make sure that the pieces of tape that you're wrapping around will perfectly lay on top of each other so that it can create a straight line for the centering ring to sit on. Once you're done wrapping the tape, you can put the centering ring on to see if it sits on the piece of tape, which it does. Now we're going to put glue right above the piece of tape where the centering ring will sit. So you can use a popsicle stick to smear a good amount of glue around that area. Once you've got the glue on, you can slide your centering ring all the way up to the piece of tape. And then you want to rotate your centering round a little so that the glue can smear around between the centering ring and the inner tube. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top as well just to reinforce the centering ring with the inner tube. Now we're going to repeat the same steps that we just did at the one inch mark, but instead at the four inch mark. Keep in mind that we want to make sure that the bottom of the centering ring is lying on the four inch mark. Also, before we glue on our second centering ring, we want to make sure that our fin tabs are going to fit in between the centering rings. In this example, it looks like it does, so we can glue on our second centering ring. Once the glue has dried enough for the centering ring to be able to hold itself up without the tape, we can remove the tape. However, we want to make sure that the glue doesn't dry all the way or else you won't be able to remove the tape. So you want a happy medium. The reason we want to remove the tape is because we want the centering ring to be glued or bonded onto the inner tube, not to the piece of tape. And now we have our centering rings glued onto our inner tube. 